Welcome everyone to Cars with Ben. In today's video, I am going to be talking about the Gran Turismo 7 PlayStation Showcase trailer for 2021, which is due to be released in March. I'm super excited and a new trailer just dropped. So if you're new here, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you like cars, let's do it. Super excited for this. So let's jump straight into the first shot, which we can see three Porsches lined up, which is like a Le Mans style race, which is really cool. So I'm not sure what kind of racing there's going to be here, but maybe a bit more 24 hour specs that we used to see in Gran Turismo 4. Already, immediately, you can just see the graphics. Just It's a very slow start into the trailer, but you can see so much nice colors and textures and the shadows and the way the light bounces off things. I think or everything is just lovely and aesthetically pleasing to look at, which is exactly what you would expect from a Gran Turismo game. So obviously, like I said, the trailer actually starts quite slow, but near the end, it starts to speed up. So I will definitely do an analysis of each and every little thing that I see and hopefully try and make a bit more of an analysis on a specific cars and locations. So here you can see more locations. So we've just sort of gone from an autumn, autumn sort of wind day to, to maybe Italy here. Uh, here's some backgrounds. You've got the desert, uh, snowy mountains, sort of like Grand Canyon, you know, huge wide areas. I don't know what that means for the game. Is it going to be track specifically or driving around? It's cities, you know, we've got the garage there. So that's really cool. Something to definitely pick up on. And as we move on to the next picture here, I want to pause it, which we've got all the Toyota GR86s in color. So a car that got added in the last update for Gran Turismo Sport. And again, we've got a load of lineup cars for sort of the special edition concept vehicles. So maybe more of those races that will be coming out. And then some more Le Mans racing. It really is very, very packed in with this trailer. So this is a really important shot. I want to just stop it right here because if you remember anything about Gran Turismo, you will know that there was shops in the original sort of game where you could go and tune your car, buy used cars, fly around to different locations. And that's an important shot to look at there. It's also very reminiscent of The Sims in a way, so where you can move around the little map area. So I think this is really, really key to the game. And of course, we've got more customization than ever. And this is a thing that I've wanted in Gran Turismo for a very, very long time. More customization is so important, I feel, to the game. Pausing it here, we've got more escape. So I really enjoyed this about Gran Turismo Sport. If you know, you could just take pictures of your car in certain locations. And that's just really cool. There's something to mess about with and sort of place cars in locations like that MX-5 here. Which, you know, I something I mess around with for hours. So definitely really enjoyed that one. And this, again, pausing it again, is so important to Gran Turismo. In the old Gran Turismo, you will know that they had used car dealerships. And this is returning very similar here, where you can buy cars effectively cheaper. Again, here, I pause it again. We've got what appears to be a garage. So there's a lot going on in this picture here. Hopefully, you can create your own custom garages, which I'm super, super excited about. Because there's a lot to do, as you can see. Pictures, just so much going on in this trailer. And it's getting me more excited for the game. Here, I want to pause it because we also have some tracing tracks. So maybe you can do this on certain parts of the world. See where all the tracks are, which I think is really cool to see, especially if you don't know where they are. Like I said, the game speeds up, so it looks like there's B-Spec mode is back where it does the racing for you, which makes me think there will be a lot more B-Spec racing and 24-hour racing modes. Here, more customization and performance uh, tasks. And our first view of the cockpit in the game. So here it looks like a Skyline GTR. So some really, really clean and just very crisp racing here. So really, really pleasing and excited to see all this back again. And I believe if you know anything about Gran Turismo early days, this is a map that was a an original trace track. So one that Gran Turismo created. And you can sort of see some of the reminiscence of that with these original cars. Now, you can't make them out very well, but it's the yellow Skyline and the white Supra, which were in some of the early Gran Turismos that we used to play, along with some of the new cars, which you can see here. As it, the, the trailer goes on, there's just so much going on. Uh, and I'm just really, really excited to break this down a little bit and sort of go into detail. But it looks like here, if we pause it, there is also Willis Jeep. So maybe there's more emphasis on the off-road side of things, which... You know, again, the Gran Turismo hasn't done as much, but they definitely played into that in sport with rally cars and off-road vehicles in a little bit of a way. And some of the classic Japanese cars, which of course, Gran Turismo wouldn't be without. So that is pretty much the trailer, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like, comment, subscribe. The game launches on March the 4th, where I'll be doing a lot more gameplay. I'll see you then.